What's up everyone, it's Arkansas Media Group back with another repair video. This is going to be on the iPod Mini. It's actually a first generation and my parents bought this a long time ago in 2004. And it's still fully functional. It's got a 4 gigabyte um, compact hard drive and a really bad battery which we're also going to replace. So here's a look at the iPod Mini itself. Um, you can distinguish a first gen from a second gen because the second gen has the capacity written on the back and uh, this one doesn't. But here is the tools that we will be needing to complete the job. We've got a battery which came with uh, some magnetic screwdrivers and then you also have the option of a two micro SD cards to compact flash or a SD to compact flash and I'll be using a 64 gigabyte Lexar card. Getting started here, we're going to start preparing all of our um, things that we'll be needing. The battery had some tape on it that had to be removed. Also you want to make sure if you're going higher than 32 gigabyte that you want to get the um, XDHC I believe it is um, because some of them only support um, up to 32 so you want to make sure you get the one that supports a higher capacity if that's what you're going for and so now we're going to power down the iPod and put the lock switch on and now we're going to attempt to open up the top casing it may be necessary to use a heat gun if the adhesive is a little bit difficult to get into um, because you don't want to break the plastic top obviously so I just hit it with a heat gun for a few seconds and it loosened that up very easily for me. and repeating the same process on the bottom. Next we are going to remove the small um, metal bracketing on the bottom casing. It's kind of wedged in really weird. It's just a friction fit so just be careful that you don't have it fly out. And then next we're going to remove the uh, click wheel connector. Be very careful that you don't rip this because then you'll have to replace your entire click wheel which is very difficult. And then we have two small screws on the top and then it'll be able to slide out after that. Once you flip it over, you can remove your old battery by just pulling straight up on the wires. And on the iFixit, it says you need to completely remove your connector with the hard drive, but that is not necessary. Um, I actually found out that I did damage my uh, connector, and I had to order a new one for uh, $5 on eBay. And it's not here yet, but after that it should work because I was having issues. Um, it was basically the drive was unresponsive um, once I hooked it to iTunes. It recognized it and everything, but it was unable to restore or duplicate music. So just be sure that you're not ripping that out of the connector. So once all of that's done, it's a little bit difficult to get it slid back in, but you want it under the first notch um, is basically what I found out and it took me a few minutes off camera to figure this out but um, also the new battery uh, connector the wire was coming out of the other side as opposed to the original one so it was really difficult to get it to fit inside of the casing so you might have to spend a few minutes um, just poking those wires through and then after that you're going to want to restore completely from iTunes 
and after that you want to fully uh, finish the reassembly because you don't want to get it completely assembled and then find out it's totally out of commission which um, kind of what happened to me um, it was able to restore and everything um, but then later it was not able to copy music it would sit on copying one out of however from your music library and then about five minutes later it would come up and say error or the disc is busy or something like that and after I took it apart I realized that the connector was completely damaged um, from me removing it incorrectly so just be careful with that connector and basically you just want to do everything that you just did um, in the reverse order The adhesive should be good enough to put back on, but if you really are worried about it, you can buy replacement kits. Mine work just fine. And um, here I'm just showing that it is fully working, the battery is good, and uh, that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all liked it. Be sure to follow our new Instagram below. Thanks for watching.